Shalom, Yashallah, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High, Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Yashar Allah. Call Haloyim La, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Harakakwadash, for blessing our elders with the spirit of truth so that we may know. Shout out to the Akim and the Akwath that's keeping the faith in the works. Y'all keep at it. It's your brother Abaya coming at you with more precepts. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50, and verse 31. Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud, saith the Howard Power of hosts. For thy day has come, the time that I will visit thee. And the most proud shall stumble and fall, and none shall raise him up. And I will kindle a fire in his cities, and it shall devour all round about him. Thus saith the Howard of hosts. The children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives helped them fast. They refused to let them go. All right? This devil refuses to let us go, and that includes the mind. Well, more so the mind than anything. All right? Um, I bring this point out all the time in the Willie Lynch letter in the making of a slave. There's a chapter called Take the Body. I mean, take the mind, leave the body. All right, so our minds have been enslaved, right? So a lot of our people don't quite understand that the tag Native American and the tag Hispanic or Latina is something that was added on. It's a byword, right? Just like the tag black. So when we see certain history, we just automatically assume that the people that's already claiming that ain't it, Right? But it really is, it really, it really are those those individuals, right? That's why we say, you know, um, when we make our, uh, um, you know, when we prophesy and what we speak, you know, we say uh, to Israel, which are you so called blacks, you so called Hispanics, you so called Native Americans, and all our brethren around the world, because those are bywords, right? According to these curses that's written in the book. Our history dictates who we are, and that's Romans, um, what, 8, 16, right? The spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high, John 6, 63, right? Uh, it is the spirit that quickeneth the words, uh, basically the words that I speak, they are spirit and they are life, right? So the prophecies in the book show who the most highest people are. Historical facts are what shows who the most highest people are, right? Let me read this again. Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 33. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, the children of Israel, right? The northern kingdom and the children of Judah, right? The southern kingdom were oppressed together and all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. Let this video play and I'll be back. I hear it. Well, I know. They must think we slow out here. We just want, oh, uh, okay, uh-huh. No, dumb dumb. Attention to something. Dodge the hijack. Because these people think we're stupid and slow out here. Watch this. When was Black Wall Street built? According to CNN, the foundations of the Greenwood District and Black Wall Street were built in the 1830s when African Americans first migrated to Oklahoma. See how they keep calling you African Americans? Watch this. When was the Trail of Tears? 1831 to 1850. Oh, my ancestors, they had to walk the. Them ain't even your people, they're my people. Stop lying out here, Dodge the Hijack. What is a land grab? Here's the definition of land grab. An act of seizing land in an opportunistic or unlawful manner. They must think we slow out here. Right. So, we are oppressed together. Just because you see a, a so-called Native American in a plot of land that was uh, uh, supposedly given to them by the government, that don't mean that <clears throat> they better than yeah, they getting no press in that plot of land that they were given uh, you know by the government 
right? Same thing with the Hispanics. Don't don't get it twisted because they come over and, you know, you may see a bunch of them in one place, like a house or apartment, whatever, and they look like they're doing good. That's because the Most High got them moving uh, um, um, with the same mind, understanding oppression and understanding the game and understanding that it's better to be together than separate. Right? There's a reason why so-called blacks have been so destroyed because Judah is the head. Right? If you kill the head on the thing, the whole body going to fall. Right? Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse, uh, let me see, 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and, and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of Yahweh thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. All right? Our oppression is on us for a sign. All right? I know a lot of um, Christians, they like to try to do do away with or just bypass the curses and say that that's not relevant. But it's so relevant as it pertains to uh, identifying the people. All right? Deuteronomy 28 and 49. Yahweh shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flieth. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand, a nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. All right? Nor show favor to the young. Now, let me read 51. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle and the fruit of thy land until thou be destroyed, which also shall not. Salah, which also shall not leave thee either corn, wine, or oil, or the increase of thy kind or flocks of thy sheep until he have destroyed thee. Right? Bro, um, bro brought up Black Wall Street, done away with. Right? The place still exists, and you still have black businesses there, but it's far from what it was because Esau Edom destroyed it. The Trail of Tears, right? Which was basically Esau Edom taking over. Our northern kingdom um, brothers land and kicking our northern kingdom brothers out and had them uh, migrating to, if I'm not mistaken, the Midwest and and uh, the South, like Florida, if I'm not mistaken. But <clears throat> the curses are on us and it's real. But the beauty of it all is we living in a time where the Most High is placing the curses on our enemies, like it says, and I think Deuteronomy. 32. Let me see. Maybe Deuteronomy 30. Let me see. It's a lot. One second. Yeah, Deuteronomy 30 and verse 7. It says, And Yahweh thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. Right, the division that was placed on us is now being placed on Esau Edom. And scripture says a kingdom divided cannot stand. Right, so just like we fell, Esau Edom is fallen. Right, second age of six and nine for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Right, the most high is doing away with the wickedness of this world and is introducing and bringing in the righteousness to rule. Right? That's what this great awakening was all about. That's what this great awakening is all about. And now we're in times of revelation. And we're in the time of the third woe. We're in the time of uh, the mark of the beast. We're in the time of Jacob's trouble. We're in the time of civil war. Right? We're in the end. Right? So, call Haloyim La Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Harokah Kodash for it. Now I end with that, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shara Tazah, these precepts in this video were edifying. Kol Haloyim La, Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Harakakwadash, Shalom Yashar Allah.